Hello everyone, welcome to another video. So I've had enough of this stuff here. This, these continuous exposés are just, you know, they're starting to get to me now. You know, what actually gets to me is like the fact that people actually believe that because a piece of flesh has a little sticker on it that says RSPCA approved or red tractor approved or you name it, free range, organic, they see that little sticker and they take that as evidence that these animals were cared for in the most amazing way, which, you know, in many cases can't be further from the truth. Now, these stickers are the biggest enemy to the animals because they leave this impression in the minds of the consumer that what they're purchasing is completely morally fine, you know, no worries. There's no sticker with the cow dangling from their hoof in a slaughterhouse with a knife in their throat. But anyway, they give you these promises about high welfare and you expect these organisations to, you know, adhere to these things. But anyways, we know that that's not true. Um, so we want to talk about Red Tractor here. So let's just go here to our standards here. We have some of the most comprehensive farm and food standards in the world covering more types of food and drink than any other assurance scheme. This means that everything carrying the Red Tractor logo can be traced from pack back to British farms. Our food is safely produced for you and your family to eat. It has been responsibly sourced and comes from crops and animals that have been well cared for. Okay, so they say they're, ba they're based on these four key principles. Animal welfare, here's one. When you see the Red Tractor logo, you can be confident your food and drink has been produced to rigorous standards with great care and attention. That's because we have partnered with animal welf welfare experts and vets since 2000 to continuously strengthen our requirements on animal welfare. Together we work to ensure that our animals are healthy with the right living space, food and water. Our members include award winning farmers who share our priorities to strive for the very best in animal health and well-being. Now, Okay, look at this little look at these little pictures here. You know they've got oh environmental protection, uh, food safety, uh, rigorous production standards. Okay, traceability. The Union Jack on our logo confirms your, your your food has been produced entirely in the UK, with every step of the food journey journey checked and documented from farm to pack. Now, I don't care if it's from the UK. Why do you care if it's from the UK? These UK farms are being exposed constantly. Now, I want to talk about an expose that a uh, great uh, vegan charity just conducted and released, uh, Viva. So, you might have seen something about this, you might not have. Now, the Mail Online has made an article about this. The Mail Online has notoriously made articles at, that are anti-vegan and nonsense, but every now and then they put an animal rights one in there because these are different, I don't know, different uh, authors here. And the male wants a story, but this is a story because <laughs> here it is. Starving pigs are caught on film resorting to cannibalism in a shocking catalogue of neglect unveiled at High Standards Farm. Work is seen on film brutally killing piglets at a flat house farm in Leicestershire. Activists at animal rights groups place cameras at a farm home to eight thousand pigs. Footage depicts dead piglets being left to rot and being eaten by the surviving pigs. Okay. Here we go. Now, that this is a Red Tractor approved farm. A shocking catalogue of neglect at a farm that supposedly abides by the highest standards of animal welfare was revealed yesterday. The footage reveals animals writhing in pain and being brutally killed at Flathouse Farm in Lutterworth, Leicestershire between March and July this year. When the damning video was obtained, meat from the farm carried the Red Tractor logo, meaning it was traceable, safe to eat, and has been produced responsibly. Now, how many other farms that are approved by Red Tractor haven't they checked up on lately? You know what I mean? Why does it take Viva, a vegan charity, to expose these things when Red Tractor are putting their stamp of approval on this? You know, don't they have these vets that come out to these places and check up on this on their welfare standards? Vegan charity Viva, which covertly obtained the films, passed the evidence to Red Tractor. A subsequent investigation at the end of July was resulted in the farm being struck off the register. Maybe the red tractor is a little like uh, RSPCA, meaning that they get some money for using their logo, their stamp of approval. Um, because like if you see the red tractor label on some pork, then that's going to help the consumer want to buy it. So it's kind of like a marketing thing, isn't it? You know, if you market your pork with the red tractor logo, 
someone's going to go, oh, that's that's British, you know, definitely British flesh there. It's all good. So the footage is quite harrowing. Um, they've released a YouTube video, which I will, you know, leave down below. We won't go through all of it, but because it's actually quite terrifying. Farrowing sheds, piglets being docked, piglets' tails being docked here. Um, they also have piglets having their heads smashed on the side of the pole. Um, so this is blunt force trauma, you know. Uh, there's a cat here eating uh, dead piglets. They also said that there, there was cats in there uh, eating, feral cats in there eating piglets that weren't growing fast enough, like little piglets. Look at this, just a corpse on the ground here. Um, the sick are left to suffer slow and agonizing deaths. I mean, oh, cannibalism. So th they were eating uh, dead cellmates. Um, they were eating each other's tails here because this happens when they're in confinement because you're keeping pigs in confinement like this. You know, just it is an absolute horror story. Horror story. Um, look at these neglected, starving pigs. Disgusting. Sickening footage of pigs, dead animals left to rot and being eaten by surviving pigs. Feral cats gnaw on the corpses and lame sows roll their eyes as they writhe in agony. Workers could be seen brutally killing piglets in footage that also showed visibly diseased starving animals, which campaigners say is not only a risk to human health but could allow new diseases to flourish. I mean, COVID-19, come on. Bird flu, swine flu, mad cow disease, these diseases just thrive in these animal facilities. This is just where they, they just their breeding grounds are. So, Red Tractor Organization, the biggest food quality assurance scheme, said, We are appalled by the images in the footage. Protecting animal health and welfare is one of our top priorities. I've got a good idea for you, Red Tractor. Why don't you stop approving their corpses? Because if you really cared about their welfare, you wouldn't be putting a stamp of approval on their hacked up bodies. And you know what? This Red Tractor Organization, just a massive propaganda machine. You know, you can't trust them, obviously. Viva, a vegan charity, is exposing their farms. That should be up to them to do. All they're trying to do is make people feel comfortable with eating meat. Like, who knows how they do their checks? Maybe they do one check at the start and they stop checking. Who knows? Last month, we immediately launched an investigation and the farm's membership of the scheme has since been terminated. Yeah, yeah. You'd want to. You'd want to. So, Henry Smith, the Conservative MP for Crawley and co-chairman of the all Party Parliament Group for Animal Welfare, said Viva's investigation can contain some of the most disturbing images I've ever seen. It's clear the animals on this farm were suffering. If this is a red tractor standard, then consumers are being misled, and we cannot allow farms like this to operate. Well, consumers are being misled, all right? I mean, I wonder how the public would feel if they saw each and every one of these animals be slaughtered. So, it doesn't matter if the standards are a little bit higher in welfare. 90% of pigs in the UK are factory farmed anyway, so, well, a little bit of a more higher welfare factory for them to live in. Like, absolute nonsense. You know, they're all going to a bloody gas chamber in the UK anyway. Uh, the vast majority of them are anyway. Or they're just going to get electrically prodded and stabbed in the throat. I mean, show, show the public that, Red Tractor. Show the public how they get stabbed in the throat after they get stunned. You know, it's just sick. Uh, Viva's Juliet Gallaty said, Our team witnessed appalling conditions documenting the systematic abuse of farm pigs whose short lives are filled with nothing but misery and pain. Not only do factory farms raise serious welfare concern, they also create an ideal environment for mutating viruses and antibiotic-resistant superbugs. So the farm said, We have done nothing wrong. The RSPCA were happy with their spot check and there was no case to answer upon completion of their inspection. Oh, really? Wow. RSPCA were happy, were they? Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me if the RSPCA were happy with that. It's disgusting. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame on you, you disgusting animal abuser. Um, and, you know, like if you're paying for pork products, this is what you're paying for. So you need to reflect. You need to reflect. And all of you people, like I get it all the time, UK has the highest standards in the world. Well, maybe on paper they do. Maybe on paper they have the high, one of the highest standards in the world. Um, but you know what? In practice, they don't. So stop looking out into the into the pastures and seeing all those cows and looking out into the pastures and seeing all those sheep and thinking that's representative of the whole of animal agriculture in the UK. Because the majority of animals in the UK are factory farmed. 70% of them are. 90% of the pigs, over 90% of the chickens, you know, well, you don't see those animals, do you? You don't see them grazing on the grass, do you? Because they're all in shed suffering. 
no one gets to see them. If it weren't for, if it wasn't for Viva exposing this place, if it wasn't for vegans exposing these places, right? No one would even ever know. So forgive me if I'm wrong here, but when do you see the industry exposing their own farms? When do you ever see animal agriculture pulling each other up, going, "Oh, mate, that's disgusting. Oh, I'm going to go expose this farm and you know get the footage." They don't care. They don't care. So any anim- uh, farmer that claims to care about animals but allows this nonsense to go on without speaking out about it is a liar. You're a liar. You don't care about the animals. You care about your bottom line, the, your, your, the, where, your, where your dollars are. That's what you care about, all your pounds over here. The farm source said the video was falsified and the allegations were faked. <laughs> oh, my God. The video was falsified. Aha. Uh-huh. That is absolutely... You're, you're clutching at straws there, mate clutching at straws there you are trying your best you're clawing you're trying to claw your way out of this oh it's all fake was it so viva um set you up did they 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 what did viva hurt those animals did does viva have their own you know animal abuse farm like this just to set people up that is an absolute load of crap where's your proof we got proof that that's happening in your farm facility and even Red Tractor agreed. But an RSPCA spokesman said it had looked into this and this incident has been referred to trading standards to investigate well, you know what, RSPCA? Like, you know better. You're no better. So don't act like, you know, you give a damn about animals too. You sell your little sticker for, pe- for people to put on their corpses. You know, you approve gas chambers macerating of male chicks. You approve slaughterhouses. You just approve animal exploitation. You don't have the animal's best interests in heart. You have, you know, your donations at heart and, you know, you just... You don't want to propagate the industry to people. That's all you want to do. Um, you might do a little bit of work for cats and dogs, but even then, you're euthanizing all your dogs at your shelter that don't get homes. And it's just these animal welfare organizations, like, you can't trust them. You can't trust them. If they're not a vegan organization, if they're not, prom- if they are promoting the consumption of animals in any way, you know, if they're promoting high welfare animal corpses, they they don't have the, the animal's best interests at heart. That should be just that should just go without saying. I'm sick to death of hearing people say UK this is so great, UK that. You know, you're constantly being exposed, UK. It's not going to stop either. You know, and where it all goes down at the slaughterhouse, these places are horrific. Animals drowning in their own blood. You know, being hacked up into pieces. Children don't want to want to eat out of slaughterhouses. Most of the public cringe at slaughter footage. Why the hell are the public paying for this? You are responsible for the animals that are being tortured and murdered if you're paying for these products. Thank you to Viva for this expose. You can find uh, the Flathouse Farm exposed video down below. You can go follow uh, Viva on Instagram. Uh, I think they have Facebook too. They've got a website as well. Um, if you want to just you know, throw Red Tractor under the bus, I completely support that because, uh, and, and the RSPCA as well. These organizations are one of the biggest barriers to veganism and animal liberation because they just make people feel more comfortable with consuming animal products. And, you know, I'm so grateful that we've got so many good activists working hard to expose these propaganda machines. That's all they are. So I highly recommend you guys next time they say, oh, UK has these highest welfare standards on earth. Show them exposés like this. This isn't the only one. Check out Land of Hope and Glory. There's plenty of exposés of RSPCA-approved farms and Red Tractor-approved farms in there. So just check out Land of Hope and Glory. You know, we've got our evidence. All of these all of these um, propaganda machines, their evidence is, oh, look, we took some pictures of some cows and some grass and put it on our website. Oh, look, we have a cartoon picture here of a happy cow. You know, oh, look, uh, you know, Red Tractor has the highest... It's all, it's all lip service. It's all just words. We are exposing these places. Vegans are exposing these places. People who truly, animal rights people are exposing these places because we have the animal's best interest at heart. We want animal exploitation to end. We want it done yesterday, all right? These places are just propagating the exploitation of animals and they have to be exposed. And I highly recommend sharing Viva's investigation. Share all the orgs that are doing amazing investigations and just let's just put this to an end. Stop the nonsense. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.